there he is. Sunset. <clears throat> and we're gonna let him do his thing for a minute. Got a video that's gonna pop up. Someone sent me one, and uh, I gotta download another one and then render them all together. It'll pop up. It might be up by tonight. But it's going to shed more light on the shysters, the connivers, you know, the wanker, and the imbecile, I guess you could say. You probably think of men, those are some pretty rough words. No, I mean, this is the way it is. Sometimes you got to get the choker chain and give them a tug. But you only do it a small amount. Every now and then you notice we got to tug back. Because the bullshit's just too deep out there. <laughs> they either talk a lot don't show you they either talk a lot and they're totally useless or they show you what they show you is totally useless some are kind of there David White yeah you're actually trying man but my opinion Dave don't be showing no more man you got so much to learn so much but you got some halfway decent stuff but again, I wouldn't be showing anything. But when you do what you want, I'll point a few things out. But I'm gonna show a video. Someone sent it to me, they did a clip, sent it to me. And it's that, that idiot again, the, the village idiot, what's his name? Uh, Snake. And he, there he is again, he's talking shit about me again, off his rocker. And he's talking to the wanker, Mark Rutherford. They're co-conspirators. You know, they're always into this shit. That's where Mark likes to go now to voice his little opinion. It's okay, you guys do what you gotta do. <coughs> he's, he's talking about, you know, I'm ripping things out of radios. No, Snake, that's you. You and the wanker should be paying attention. And Mike, how I solder and remove parts. Well, I take that back. I'm sure... Mike is really good at it. He's a good part changer. He's a part swapper. That's what he does. Mark isn't the repairman. He can. And he can design things. He can. He can. I got a compliment for you here in a second, Mark, so just chill out. But still, it'll it'll never be good, Mark. Never. Just like what's your name? Tim. You had the chance. I gave you the directions on what you needed to do like apologize but you don't know how far gone you are if you pay attention in history to see what's happened you would know not to play games anyways this uh, Tim guy snake he sees a video on CB kid that's another one total bullshit page all of it they think they're funny, which I'll show some of that. And uh, there's a CB radio blog where all the undesirables, that's where the undesirables go to hang out. A lot of these people are people that may have been on my page. You want to ask questions. They want knowledge without paying. You get blocked, plain and simple. That's why not pages are there. But it's a forum. That's fine. That's where you go. If you want a technician's knowledge, you've got to pay or buy the merchandise. You don't leave a comment that requires an answer. You don't do it. So if you've gotten blocked or you came in and you edited your comment 
You could always edit a comment, but if you change the meaning or the content of that comment, your, your history, there's no looking back. So there are forums, there are, you know, like Snake's page, I guess. People tell me the people that are in there, I can't watch that, listen to that stupid shit. I got work to do, you know. But you'll find a lot of these people there. They got the boot. So anyways, Snake must have seen a video on CB Kid. He's searching and looking. He's trying to threaten. He's doing all these things because he's under the spotlight. He's realized that he screwed up heavily, which he won't admit. He's not a man. Uh, sociopaths, type A's, borderline. Ring any bells there, Snake? They, they can't do it. They have these other ulterior, not motives, but these, like, people. I'm not going to get into that. That respond to other scenarios in their life. And this is something that Snake can't cope with. You know, so he fights back the way he does. A big old rabbit. So he's out there looking and seeking, trying to get a revenge. He's, he started the whole thing. His inferiorities, seeing the videos, and now his his mind is all screwed up. And everybody else, it's like an enemy. They say if, if they can't show a bench, if they talk without a bench, they're worthless. Forums, pages, whatever, they're gonna hate it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they claim they worked. Whatever, you show the bench or shut up. Your opinion is worthless. If you can't show it, get on the porch. See, a lot of people, they, they live in this, this little sheltered world where they think their opinion means something, you know? It's amazing. But, uh, oh, the wind's coming through now. Snake's seen this video, and his mind only sees what he wants to see. He, he doesn't, his illnesses don't allow him to see reality. People like that don't have a grasp with reality, they're delusional. Sometimes they kind of function in life. Sometimes they get by, you know, live with mommy and daddy or a brother or something like that, or a sister or a niece or whatever the case might be. Hopefully it's not welfare. And you've seen these videos and he's realized, oh my God, I'll never be there. And that's true. So he's fighting back at this crazy rate. Getting in. You heard the video. You've seen one of the videos. And he's, he's done it again. That video's coming up. Come on, buddy. Get in. And he's seen a video on CB Kid. That CB Kid manipulated. All of them, that's all they are. They're all just total 100% bullshit. Every single word. Every single word is manipulation. There's no truth. You have to just go find my original videos. It's they think there's the people in there think they're gonna control and manipulate the radio world. And it's always some fake name, some fake anything. You'll even hear Mark, he'll he'll be when my name comes up. It's actually kind of funny. But Snake seen this and only in his mind did he take in what was being said. Like, oh my God, he's ripping traces off. No, you should pay attention to see exactly how you use that type of iron. I'm teaching. I'm not gonna teach people how to work on stuff. Someone that would attempt to do that would be setting them up to fail and they should be knowing that. You don't even wanna do that. They need to go to a college, they need to go somewhere. They need to do something to start working on other people's equipment. First, you have to know how to repair them. The tuning part is more complicated than the repairing. Don't be a screwdriver, Jackie. So, he sees this video. This guy is claiming we're ripping traces off and uh, we're ripping parts out with pliers. You know, in actual all reality, you've seen the solder sucker sucking all the solder all the way around each hole and flipping the radio over and then using my left hand and my index finger, reaching in and easily pulling it out and setting it down. You could hear it go to ding grabbing my power punch, aligning it right above the hole for the max mod hole, or where the tip 36 was, because it's too close. You have to raise the hole. 
or put a hole just above it. And uh, you, you, it's a punch, but you, you don't punch it with a hammer, you squeeze it together. And once you squeeze it together, it compresses, it punches the hole and it goes in the container. Then you have to open it back up, remove it from the rail or the chassis, and then tap it to get the piece out, and then I hang it back up. Well, everything in that video was all exaggerated, so you can watch the beginning of this, listen to it. You can go back and watch the CB Kid one. I'm not going to spend my time loading that one up, too. <laughs> but I'll put the original video that these idiots and the morons, the wankers, and whoever, you know, the haters, the wannabes, they want to laugh about it. What I suggest is you go to these pages and get all the names and start just blocking them. You're not going to want to associate with them. It's where they all conglomerate, you know, to talk about people. None of them do any work. They can't do any work. They talk. So, there we go. The next thing you're going to see is Snake. <laughs> snake? You're an idiot, man. You really are. Boy. Stay tuned in, here it comes. And uh, the original video will be right after this one. Wanna say hi, Mopo? Hey, man, man. He's a good boy. And it's windy. Stay tuned in. Click, click. Did you guys see that video of uh, Mark Sherman ripping out a, just taking a pair of Lyman's pliers and ripping something out of a, any tone? I heard about that a long time ago. That's yeah. not new, is it? It's an old is video. Reason? I just now oh, found out old? about it. Yeah. Where well, did you see that? What the fuck could you possibly be ripping out of a radio with a goddamn pair of Lyman's pliers that are 12-inch fucking pliers? And the whole radio goes boom. And the fucking table shakes, and then he throws the pliers on the table. What the fuck could he be possibly ripping out of a, an any tone? I mean, bloody hell! What the hell is really? it? Really? Yes. What the fuck did he rip out? He didn't show what he ripped out, but he ripped something out of one. I mean, what the hell could it be? Hell. I have to. I'll have to look, mate. You have to send me that. Maybe I'll have to look. Yeah. I I can't imagine what anyone would do that for. I know. There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason why you would rip something, unless he's tearing a cap out that he couldn't fucking get unsoldered because he doesn't have the right equipment, and he it pissed him off. Swing Daddy says he was punching a hole for the maxi. Oh, so was he using lineman pliers, or was he using a hole punch? Uh, no, he was using a big blue-handled... Uh lineman pliers. I got the link right here. I'll fucking put it on the, I'll put it on the video chat. I, a hole, a big hole punch. I've got one big hole punch like that. I, they they look like lineman's pliers mate, at the handles. No, it wasn't for the maxi mod. It was it was right in the middle. It was right in the front middle of the fucking radio, man. Ooh, bloody hell! Yeah, that's what I said. Bloody hell! I don't know, mate. I don't know what would be in the front of a radio like that to rip to rip to rip out with a pair of lineman pliers. Uh, the swing daddy chap here in the, in the chat says it was a hole punch. I, I I don't know that I've seen this. It's not a hole punch. It's a fucking. It's not even anywhere near the maxi mod. Wow. I'm back. Yeah, I don't think you missed much, mate. <laughs> They're talking about um uh about one of those nuggets. Apparently, they say he used a pair of lineman's pliers to rip something out of the radio. It's bloody hell. Yeah, one yeah. chap said it might have been. It was a hole punch. I don't know what you would be punching a hole. There you go. Let's let's take a let's take a dog. Oh, this is a bloody Facebook thing. <laughs> you might be able to see it. If you can't see it, I can send you another link. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, I'm trying.
trying to stop it and start it so that I could see the head of the tool. No, no, no. Just let the video play. Just let it play through. You'll see it do it. You'll see. You'll see it repeat about four or five times. Oh, this is CP Muppet. Yeah, that's his video. Yeah, it, it is his oh. video. Yeah. Oh, that's supposed to be me, by the way, mate. Oh, I know. Yeah, you're so, definitely. So, so do I? Do I win the? Do I win the prize? No, because his real voice is on is on his page now. He he, he quit talking like a little girl, and now his real voice is on there. And I nailed hey, it. I, 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 nailed I, it I think that's a hole punch, mate. I I think that's a hole punch. <laughs> No, it can't be. What what would you be doing with a hole punch in the middle of a fucking radio like that? It looked like he was off to the side. I don't want to defend this mu this muppet mate because he 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 he, he constantly har har harasses me and everything. But I I think that I need somebody else to look at it, mate. Maybe radio. No, look. I think that's a hole punch. He's grabbing it with two hands. He's got one hand on the one side of the pliers, the other hand on the other side. And he clamps down and he fucking yanks something out of the radio. Then he throws, you can see parts flying out, and he throws his pliers down on the bench. I'll, I'll take a good or a better look at it uh, in a little while. Yeah, I'm, go to I'm see not me. trying to look at another, at another, this, at this little munchkin in the, in the other room. Go to I see think, me, Muppets. I uh, think that's a, I, I, I'll take a look at it. I, it looks to me, mate, like a, like a whole bunch of stuff. No. It might be a whole bunch. Okay, it's not. I'll take a better look at it. I'll take a better look at it. Oh, wow. when, yeah. I, when I when when my wife comes home, go on CB Muppets page. And, yeah, uh, and the problem is trying to stop the video, you know, to to see what the head of the tool looks like. Well, see, he wasn't. Show, it goes by really fast. He wasn't show what the, he he didn't show what the head of the tool was, but you can clearly tell it's it's those big blue handled lineman's pliers where you cut big ass wire with. Well, there's nothing in there that bloody big to cut. I know. What the hell was he ripping out? The fucking uh, the filter? I mean, some kind of filter? Or, I mean, what was he ripping out? I do know those those uh, hole punchers do take a fair bit of force. But why would you put a hole in the middle of a board? Uh, I don't know that. Hang on a second. Yeah, that's the whole thing. There's no reason for that to occur. There is no reason for that to occur at all. It's not what, I, what I'm seeing. It looks like the, a slug of aluminium that rolls across the table there with the chassis. Yeah. Yep. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Yep. But those are lineless pliers, right? Did he just punch it out, or is it, is it, did he take a chunk out of it? No, it looks like a slug. You know when you can punch the hole? It looks like a, a, slug, a slug of aluminium out of the chassis. Well, a a anyway, either way, it's fucking ridiculous. It looked a little rough. Uh, I've I, I, I opened uh, chassis, you know, holes because you get, I have a punch like that and you use um, different, um, uh, you know, different attachments to punch different uh, size holes and shapes and things in different types of, uh, of metal, you know, be it thin steel or aluminium or whatever. But a hole punch would be a straight tool with an angled head, you know, like a, a horizontal handle with the angled head, right? Not straight up and down like when you have two hands on a pair of pliers. See, that's that's what that's what no. it is. Mine doesn't look like whatever he's using. I, I Yes, but I have something that's a bit different. The one that I use is for punching uh, larger holes like the, the sub holes or something, you know, and you have to drill a small hole for... Uh, for the, the rod, the die. For, yes, and then you put the die through it, and then you, and then you compress it, and it punches out the, uh, punches out the bit of steel. I have seen those pliers at Home Depot. Every time I go to the tool inside in the tool section, I see those big ass blue uh, Klein Lyman's pliers. Oh yes, I've got a pair. I've got more than a few pair of those. 
more than a few pair of those big players. And even CD Muppet said, what the hell did he just pull out of there? I've had some with black handles, some with red handles, some with uh, oh, black and red handles, some with blue handles. Uh, just pull one of them out here. This one is a this one is a prime, big hefty sucker. Yeah. That's the blue. thing about these lineman flyer. I have quite a few pair of them. They're yeah. bloody things are expensive. It fifty yeah. plus US dollars a piece. That's exactly what it looks like. But okay. If nobody believes me, that's fine, but I'm telling you that those are lineman's I just don't well, know, man. And he's I can't ripping really something out of the fucking board. All right, I'll be back. Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard Drive 163, Las Cruces, New Mexico. I've been asked, hey, Hard Drive, what's that blue and yellow thing in the corner by your speaker? Is that a soldering gun? Dutch used irons, blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, yeah, I, I do. And just something like that. Well, those are the, the hot tweezers and two different irons over there. But this thing over oh, you know what? Let me show you. Hold on. surface mode. They better have it, right? I mean better. Anyways, hold on a second. No mess. Hard drive likes no messes on the benches. Two of these to whip out here real quick. Same address. That's how that goes. Don't forget, click subscribe and stay tuned in. Catch y'all later.